Celebrating 100 years of changing lives. Plant. Grow. Share. Who would have expected that since a group of girls demanded their own place at the 1909 Crystal Palace Boy Scout Rally, we'd be here celebrating our anniversary 100 years of changing lives. And who would have ever imagined how much we have grown? WAGS is now the largest voluntary organisation in the world dedicated to girls and young women. 145 countries, 10 million girls and young women, 50 million community members, 250 million girls and young women transformed over 100 years. 2,000 statements to the United Nations, thousands of guests at our four world centres, and 100 years of changing lives. I used to be a very shy person, but girl guiding helped me to be, get confident and to become a leader. I've travelled internationally, I've visited cancer research centres and centres for refugees. It encouraged me to think of obstacles as challenges, to know that I can do anything that I set my mind to. I've had opportunities to volunteer and to make a difference. So how did we get to where we are today? Let's wind the clock back to celebrate our biggest achievements. 1910, the guide movement is formally founded in the UK and in seven other countries. 1911, guiding founded in eight countries. 1912, guiding starts in five countries. 1920, first international conference in Oxford, England. 1928, WAGS established with 26 members. 1930, Olave Baden-Powell, Chief Guide and one million members. 1932, our chalet in Switzerland opens. 1939, our ARC opens in London. 1950, WAGS has over 100 member organisations around the world. 1957, our Cabana, Mexico opens. 1966, Sangam, India opens. 1980, 136 member organisations. 1991, our ARC moves and is renamed Pax Lodge. 2000, 17,000 Girl Guides and Girl Scouts stand up against poverty in the Millennium Campaign event. 2008, WAGS launches its global action theme, Girls Worldwide Say, Together We Can Change Our World, which addresses the UN Millennium Development Goals. Girl Guiding and Girl Scouting has achieved 100 years of changing lives by planting the seeds of change in the lives of girls and young women. And now we want to cultivate and grow those seeds for the next 100 years. As we continue to celebrate our centenary, we take part in this year's Grow theme. In 2011, we are growing our celebrations into community action projects, making a difference to those around us and helping to create a better world for us all. Girl Guiding and Girl Scouting has met for me personally. Um, it's opened up the world. I've been to places, I've seen things, and I've met people that I would never have thought imaginable. But it's also really challenged me to think differently, to act differently, and, and to be someone different. Guiding has met a lot of dreams I had to come true. Guiding's changed my life in so many ways. It's really the opportunities I've had from guiding. So many opportunities that have helped me in my professional life as well as personally. It really formed my social skills, like in a way that you can't learn them at school. It has changed my life totally. It has opened more doors for me and I've gone to places that I never imagined to go. WAG's leadership programs and workshops have given girls and young women the confidence and skills to speak out publicly on issues that affect them. We get leadership skills that are practical, that we can take home and implement. The confidence that's invested in us as young women has led us to confidence. If everyone just knew what we do and what we are, every single girl would be a guy. <laughs> As we celebrate this wonderful global movement, I really want to say a special thank you to the millions and millions of volunteers, without whom none of this would be possible. 
My wish for WAGS is to keep doing what you're doing for the next 100 years and we are the voice that changes the world. What I'd like to see WAGS do in the future is to continue to be the voice of girls and young women. Continue to stand up and support girls and give voices to the girls who do not have a voice of their own. I wish you happy birthday WAGS. Sana Volshe! In 100 more years, I hope we are 100 million. Happy birthday WAGS! It's been an amazing 100 years for so many girls and young women. All the best for the next 100 years. If we can be as innovative as our early leaders were, harnessing technological changes to our advantage and playing to our strengths of inclusiveness, regardless of race or religion, if we can continue to provide a compass point for girls as they grow from children into women and leaders of the future, if we can embrace change without losing the basic principles of the law and promise, then hopefully in 2110, WAGS will be celebrating its 200th birthday. It's up to each one of us. My vision for the next century is that more and more girls and young women in more and more parts of the world will have more and better opportunities to be happy, healthy, and productive citizens. Happy